Hi, it's September 17th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton. I'm with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Muni Market was focused on DC this week after the House Ways and Means Committee last Friday night, late at night at 11 p.m., released a broad base package that would expand the Muni Market to help fund infrastructure across the country. Some of the think proposals that are on the table include a new program called Qualified Infrastructure Bonds, which are like Build America bonds. They're taxable municipal bonds that would be accompanied by a cash subsidy subsidy from the federal government in place of the tax exempt financing subsidy. They also would restore access to advance for funding bonds for municipal issuers, and they would expand the cap on bank qualified issues from uh, $10 million, a maximum of $10 million right now, to include issuers who sell up to $30 million a year would still be eligible to sell their bonds to banks. The QIBs and the bank qualified provisions are both designed to make infrastructure financing more affordable by expanding the universe of buyers for those transactions, and the advance for funding transactions action would expand the universe uh, and allow issuers to cut back on their overall debt service costs by refinancing bonds at lower interest rates when the market uh, is able to accommodate them. So it's in those Proposals were took the market a little bit by surprise. People in the market were expecting the advance or funding proposal, but not the other two. But certainly, uh, most people in the market are excited about them and look forward to putting them to work on infrastructure investments if they pass all the way through Congress. The next step will be to go to the Senate, and uh, passage there is a little bit uncertain, but we'll obviously keep watching that and keep an eye on it in the next uh, coming months. So, Chris, with that in mind, were there any, you were in the uh, new issue market this week, which is where most of the activity typically happens in the muni market. Was there any uh, spillover there, or were people just focused on the calendar? People were very focused on the calendar this week. I know for VAM specifically, we had a very active week in the primary market. We priced 31 transactions for a total insured par of over roughly 315 million. And this week, we actually had a transaction across eight states. So that uh, average par insured was, a, was very decent this week. Uh, two transactions to highlight, there was a Greenville, Texas deal that sold in the competitive market this week. There were two series totaling roughly 118 million, uh, and that was purchased by R.W. Baird. And then there was three series of a Limestone, Alabama transaction that was priced by Raymond James, and those three series totaled roughly 50 million. And that Limestone is a Board of Education transaction, uh, Limestone, Alabama, just a, northern Alabama, just a little bit northwest of Huntsville. Correct. And next week, the primary market is expected to be very robust with an aggregate volume of over 10 billion. Uh, lots of larger high grade transactions this week with those higher, higher grade large issuers. Uh, for BAM, we're expecting another heavy week in the competitive space. We're bidding a lot of competitive transactions every week. Uh, and there's roughly 80 million of BAM paper expected to price in the negotiated market. And there are two steeple transactions to highlight next week. One is a Rock Creek School District number 323 in Kansas, and that's roughly 40 million of par. There's also a Belleville School District number 201 uh, in Illinois, and that's a $17 million transaction. I think we're also watching the Tulsa Airport transaction. We thought it was gonna come this past week, but that's likely to come in the coming week also, right? Yeah, correct. It's been pushed uh, to a day to day, but hopefully next week that will come as well. Very good. All right, we'll watch how those uh, transactions come to market and, of course, uh, trying to figure out what the impacts on the muni market supply and demand will be from any uh, changes in Washington. But we'll uh, keep everybody posted as we move forward into the end of the year. Should be exciting. All right. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 